Hey guys, it's Di, and I wanted to do a combined haul of a bunch of different beauty, cosmetic, and jewelry items for the beginning of September. And some of the places that I got things from um, were Ulta, Sephora, um, I got some things from Lush. I got a few nail polishes that just came in the mail today from Zoya which were what I was waiting on to do this video. And then also I got a few things from the Bobble Bar, which I wanted to go ahead and show those to you guys as well. So the first things I'll show you are the things from Ulta. And at first I went and did a little stock up of a few things I was almost out of or pretty much out of. And the first thing is the Mario Badishu Special Cucumber Lotion. I use this morning and night and if I take a shower after I've worked out too. And this stuff is really great. It's like a toner actually, even though it says lotion, you can see it's like a liquid. And it just works really great with my skin type, so I always stuck up on that. And then I also needed to get another Seche Vite Quick Dry Top Coat, um, because that's what I always use when I paint my nails. And so I was needing another one of those. And then also with my purchase, they gave me a little mini Mario Badishu Special Cucumber Lotion um, bottle. I guess it's like a sample size if people haven't tried it before. So I thought that that would be really great for traveling to throw down inside my purse or whatever. And then the next thing I got was one of the Beauty Still items. I went back in on a Sunday to get it because I had tried the deluxe sample and I liked it so much that I wanted to get the full size version. And this is the Tarte lights camera lashes mascara and I really really liked my deluxe sample honestly this is a really great mascara so I was happy to get the full size and it was on sale with the beauty still at Ulta I believe the price was ten dollars so that's pretty amazing it's actual retail price is like nineteen dollars so I knew I had to run in and get it when it was that good of a sale and then the next thing's from Sephora and this is a particularly <laughs> I don't know interesting funny I don't know purchase because this may be the least I've ever spent in Sephora. I went in Sephora, I wasn't planning on really buying anything because I'm planning on doing an online order for this month. And so when I went in, I, um, I needed one of these double-ended double blemish extractors because we used to have one of these in our bathroom and I, I know that some people don't like using them, but I find that they're good if like you get hard-packed oil in your face to get that out of your pores. In any case, I was needing another one because I lost one on a trip. And so they had these on clearance for $3. So I believe my total at Sephora was $3.28, <laughs> which is probably the least I've ever spent in Sephora in my life. So I actually made it into the store and out of the store spending $3. So I thought that was pretty amazing. And then also on that trip to the mall, I ran into Lush to stock up on a few things that I wanted to get for bags. And they gave me a few samples of things to try in the shower. So I'm actually interested to try these. The first one is It's Raining Men. They said it was kind of like honey and should be skin soothing. And the second one was Ocean Salt. And I tried this in the store and I really liked the smell of it. So I wanted to kind of try it a little bit more at home. And I think I'm going to be getting a bigger one of those. The full size products that I got were this little foot guy. I thought that this would be good to use. And it's really, really fresh. It's about a very zesty scent to it, kind of lemony and citrusy, and I thought it was really cute, that, so that would be good to, like, pumice my feet in the shower. And the girl said to just break off a little tiny piece of it. Don't use the whole foot when you use it, because otherwise it'll go away really quickly. And then also I got this little bath bomb. This is Secura, and it's just kind of a really kind of invigorating smell, but it's got a little bit of a sweet smell underneath it as well. So it's kind of soothing, and I've used that one before, and I really like that. And then the other one, I think I may have used a really long, long time ago, but it's been a really, really long time if I have, so I wanted to get one of these and try it again. This is the Twilight Bath Bomb, and it's kind of pink and got little stars and moons on the top of it. But it's a sweet scent, but it's very soothing. I think it might have a little bit of lavender in it, but... It's just kind of a nice soothing scent, and I think it's supposed to be good for baths before bedtime to kind of calm you down and that sort of thing. I've been very into baths before bedtime lately, so I thought that that would be good. So that is everything that I got at Lush for this trip, and I'm really thinking that next time I'm probably going to try this Ocean Salt because I went in thinking I was going to get the Rub Rub Rub, and I tried this Ocean Salt, and I liked this a lot better because it was a lot gentler, and the smell of it was actually a lot... I don't know, a lot more of something I would be attracted to on my own. A very light kind of smell, so it was really nice. 
And then the next thing I got was from Zoya. I put in an online order and they were doing a buy one get one free for back to school and I especially love putting in orders for Zoya nail polish when they do the buy one get ones. So they sent me some free goodies but I think they actually sent them separately, some shower gel and stuff like that so I don't even know when that's going to arrive but they have the new kind of designer colors out so I ordered these kind of side and scene just by looking at the colors online and I opened these up real quick before we did a play date earlier and I'll be completely honest some of the colors I'm kind of like ugh, I wouldn't order these if I would have seen them in person but I do really like the sparkly colors this one is doll and this one is kind of a purple shimmery color it's got a really a lot of glitter in it I think it's really really pretty so this one I would probably wear a lot either on its own or over another color in the fall and then this one is Natty, and I honestly got this one because my youngest daughter's name is Natalie, and I call her Natty sometimes. <laughs> so I thought that this one was cute. This is one of the new designer colors, and this one is kind of um, almost like a cadet blue, if you guys remember that from the crown box, <laughs> and it's a cream, so it'll be a pretty color, and I think that that would actually be good with the glitter over it too. And then this one I thought I was going to like in pictures. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I might like it when I try it. I haven't tried any of these on yet. This one is Frida. I don't know. I, hopefully, they're very, very sheer. They look really super dark in the bottle, and this is a lot darker than I would ever wear on my nails. I have short... Oh, they're very, very, very sheer. Okay. Maybe these won't be too bad then. They're very sheer, so I'll do a review or something later on. But to look at this color in the bottle, that's a lot darker than I would ever wear on my nails because my nails are so short that dark colors just look kind of odd on me. And then this color was the one that I was the most excited about. This one is from the Diva Collection, and it's Fifi. And it is so gorgeous. I love this color. It is kind of like a blue and purple glittery color. Um, and it's just shimmery and gorgeous. I love this color, and I'm really hoping I like it on my nails as well. This was another one that I was kind of, I don't know, eh, about when I opened up the box. This one is Catherine, and this is from the same kind of jelly. It's also very sheer, so that may be the thing that allows me to wear these. I do like the sheerness of these. Um, and again, it's another one I kind of bought because my older daughter's middle name is Catherine, so I don't know. I did like the color online, so hopefully it'll be very, very sheer and I can put it on very lightly. When I pulled this out and I saw how dark it was, I mean, it just looks like basically a blackish purple in the bottle. Um, and that's not really something I would wear a lot. But it's very sheer. It takes on a very beautiful plummy color when I'm just putting it on my nail right now. So I'll probably try to do some swatches and I'll show them here at the end to kind of show you guys. But I'm hoping I'll like these a lot better on my nails. And then the last one that I got, I don't even know how I ended up with this one. I need to look at my order. This is Surrey, and I feel like I already have this. I have Hope, which is very similar. Uh, and it's just like a regular basic purple. I don't honestly remember ordering this, but I probably did and just don't remember it. <laughs> so that was everything I got from Zoya. And my feelings on it, like my first impressions, because I literally just opened the box, is kind of, eh, we'll see. Um, but it's some good fall and color. And the very last thing I got were a few things from the Bobble Bar. And actually the first thing I'm very excited about, um, one of the blogs that I read is The Fashion Minx. And she is a great gal that writes about fashion and pairing high and low together to come up with a unique look. And um, she's also in some of my handbag groups. So um, I really enjoy reading things from other ladies that are into handbags. But she was hosting a giveaway on her blog. Um, it was in August, so it's been a few weeks now. And I actually ended up winning the giveaway. I was so excited. I, you know, I do giveaways for other people, and I, I've never won on one of my own, I don't think. So I won these earrings from the Bobble Bar. And they are so cute. They're little rose gold little bows. And I'll try to get a close-up of these as well. And they're really so cute. They look adorable on the ear. And these are definitely something that I would wear just like daytime, casual, but they could be dressed up as well. So that these were really cute and that was really nice. So thank you so much to Julie from the Fashion Minks. And I'll go ahead and link her down below. I really love her blog and um, 
She has really good taste in jewelry, but she has a really good taste in just clothing all around. So I enjoy kind of looking at the outfits she puts together and it gives me ideas as well. So after I got those, I actually enjoyed those so much, I was kind of cruising around on Bubble Bar's website and I ordered this because I saw this and I liked it. This was one of the specials that they have. I believe they call it like Buried Bobble or something like that and it usually is something that's around half off. So this is kind of like a gunmetal um, tone necklace and it's got like a little rhinestone pov thing on it that it slides back and forth which I really like because I don't like when necklaces just have something that's static on them because I feel like it moves around on me. So I like that this kind of moves around and I thought that this was a really pretty necklace that would go great with like cardigans and stuff in the winter. So I was excited about that as well. So I'm very happy with everything I've gotten from Bubble Bar so far, you know, either as a gift or that I bought myself. And um, so I'm definitely going to be looking at their website in the future. So I would recommend it if you guys are just looking for some fun costume jewelry type of thing. So um, that is everything for my kind of beginning of September haul. I can't even call it like one brand or anything because it's just a mishmash of brands. But um, that is kind of my fun stuff from the beginning of September. And hopefully I will have a Sephora one um, fairly soon. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.